the brain is the most complex part of the nervous system of human body. To accommodate the detailed brain anatomy and superficially describe the connecting tracts and functions of these anatomical parts in a single short video is nearly an impossible task. Therefore, I have divided this topic in a series of 5 videos sequentially arranged to make the topic easy to understand. The first part of the video series is a brief introduction of the broad anatomical classification of the brain. The second part of the video is concerned with superficial visible structures of the human brain and the third part is a continuation of description of superficial visible structures that include the inferior surface of the cerebral cortex, the brain stem and the cranial nerves. The description of these structures if included with part 2 would have made the information covered too vast to understand and remember. The fourth part deals with the deeper brain structures revealed on removing the cerebral cortex and other brain structures one after another. The fifth and last part of the video series covers the cerebellum and other miscellaneous brain structures and aspects which could not be covered in the previous part of these video series. So, to begin with, the nervous system has two main parts. The central nervous system made of the brain and the spinal cord, floating in the cerebrospinal fluid. The peripheral nervous system, made up of the nerves that branch off from the spinal cord and extend all parts of the body. The autonomous nervous system. The automic nervous system comprises nerves that connect the central nervous system to the heart, blood vessels, glands and smooth muscles. The brain can be divided into three basic units the forebrain, the midbrain and the hindbrain. The forebrain is the largest and most highly developed part of the human brain. It consists primarily of the cerebrum and the structures hidden beneath it, the inner brain or subcortical brain. The midbrain is the uppermost of the brainstem, which controls some reflex actions, eye movements and other voluntary movements. The hindbrain consists of three subdivisions. The first, the, brain, the brainstem including the pons and medulla oblongata, except midbrain. Second, the cerebellum and lastly the upper part of the spinal cord. The cerebrum part of the forebrain is divided into two major parts, the right and left cerebral hemispheres or halves by a deep groove down the middle. Each cerebral hemisphere controls voluntary function to the opposite or contralateral side of the body from which it receives sensory input. In other words, the left hemisphere controls the right half of, half of the body and vice versa. But there are exceptions to this rule for sensory inputs of the senses of touch and vision are largely from the contralateral half of the body, while auditory input comes from both sides. In each individual, one hemisphere is dominant, which controls language, mathematical and analytical functions, and handedness. The non-dominant hemisphere controls recognition of faces, some auditory aspects and emotion. In the world, 90% of the people are right-handed, in most of whom language is a little bit more processed in the left hemisphere and recognition of the faces are a little bit more in the right hemisphere. The cerebral hemisphere that controls language is called dominant hemisphere. In most individuals, language functions are processed in the left hemisphere, so it is the dominant one. The inner brain or subcortical brain includes the limbic structures, the basal ganglia and the pituitary gland. They act as information hubs of the nervous system as they relay and modulate information passing to different areas of the brain. The limbic system is involved in 
motivation, emotion, learning and memory. The basal ganglia is a group of subcortical nuclei responsible for motor control as well as other roles such as motor learning, executive functions, emotional behaviors, addictive behaviors and habit information. The pituitary gland stores and releases hormones. Please note that the term brain stem has the following parts from superior to inferior that is midbrain, pons and medulla oblongata respectively. In the next video I will discuss the superficial brain structures.